You should be an artist. Can you explain a bit how you come to this idea that putting different type of work together with this uh, the, the persona of the artist? Well, <clears throat> I mean, actually, first of all, the title came from uh, a comment that was made to one of my studio uh, mates, a comment that she made to me about a flower arrangement that I, that I made for the bakery that we they have. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I sent her a picture of it and she said, you know, ironically, you should be an artist, you know. So I thought it was a good, good title for, for a show, and we'd been discussing this idea of, of doing something with personas. And um, I'd never obviously gathered them all together, but I've done a number of works where, uh, about being an artist, a different type uh, kind of artist, uh, and, and uh, uh, I've shown sometimes props related to, to the pieces or, or, or works that have come out of, uh, out, out of the photographic work. In a way, with this piece behind us, Mm -hmm. uh, it's about like 10 years ago you did that piece. Like yes, 2000, 2007. Mm -hmm. It's about an am uh, it's called The Gifted Amateur and it's about a, a professional man from Vancouver where I come from who having just visited New York and seen an exhibition of the, of the work of the painter uh, like Morris Lewis. Uh, Morris Lewis, I'm sorry. Morris. Uh, was kind of inspired and it, it's, it's, uh, it's the character is somebody who never really knew that much about art or never had any particular interest in art but so de developed later in life this, this all of a sudden all-consuming passion to make this kind of art which he, he's, he looked at and saw well this looks easy to make it looked like he could do it himself and so it represents him early in the morning kind of feverishly working on a, on a, on a drip painting surrounded by in his kind of bachelor pad surrounded by a, art books that he just recently purchased. So it's not exactly a studio, it's, it's, not, it's no. just painting in his uh, living room. Well, in fact, Morris Lewis in, uh, painted in, in his in, living room. In his living room, yeah, like, the, like the, behind the large, his kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the large unfurls and uh, the major works that, that he made, he made in a, in a kitchen nook and much smaller than this, in yeah. fact. But uh, so I was kind of, I wanted to make a piece about related to Morris Lewis for a long time. Anyway, I made this and in the course of it, I made this prop painting and uh, was, was kind of pleased with the results and uh, started making uh, other paintings yeah. of this type. And then the exhibition behind. behind us, there are a number of... So basically, the, the, the character of the artist are, is more like provincial, and they are not from the big city or the big metropole, and they have, they have it's, this title is the gifted amateur. Yeah. So there's this kind of idea that uh, the artists you're depicting are more like uh, in between of amateur and professional. Yeah. They're, uh, coming from not the, the main center. Exactly, and, uh, yeah. yeah. And the work is maybe not the most cutting edge work, it's derivative. Mm -hmm. And then one of the other works in the exhibition called the uh, Artist in, uh, called Artist in Artist Bar represents an artist in a, in, in a bar in which there are a lot of uh, paintings that members of his imaginary, of this hypothetical artist group have traded for food. So sometimes these are, these are works that are, I was interested in doing something making this art, which is kind of derivative, which is in a way good enough to, to show in a, in, a, in, 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 a, in a restaurant, maybe not good enough for a museum, but, yeah. but perfectly uh -huh. interesting and perfectly, and, and also I was interested in this economy, this, this alternative econo art economy of, tr yeah. of bartering directly yeah. food and drink for, for, for work. So, uh, and I, I generated a series of paintings, which I did myself for, for, for that piece. And again, that was the challenge, that was the biggest challenge of that piece was to try to make, make the work and make it kind of convincing uh, in, in several different styles. The piece that is more complex is the uh, looping potatoes yeah. at, the, at the gong. The gong.
So it's, uh, it's an artist who did a performance in 69. So yeah. it's the most recent character that you, you build up. Yes, yeah. Again, yeah, that piece was more elaborate in the sense that, that I, I generated a, a body of work representing different phases of, of his career from a student, mm -hmm. uh, a student maybe in the, in the, uh, in, in the 50s uh, to uh, works made during his tenure in New York when he moved and became influenced by, by different modernist movements from uh, minimalism to kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, installation art. So I show like instances of this of this artist's work throughout his career, and culminating in his so-called masterpiece, which is this piece where he's throwing potatoes uh, uh -huh. at a gong in a, in a kind of alternative space. I don't know, Judson Church type of yeah, space. Yeah. I shot it actually at, at an alternative uh -huh. uh, artist-run center in Vancouver, the Western Front, a long-running uh -huh. um, alternative space, and, 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 and kind of contextualize it as an imaginary or a hypothetical fluxus performance from, yeah, yeah as you uh -huh, say, from 1969. Uh -huh. And it goes to the uh, more uh, figures of artists that are more like amateur or even a kind of art brut, uh, the leaping hermit, with this yes. guy doing a kind of sculpture with a spoon, wooden spoon, yeah. or, or the other one with the pipe cleaner. Yeah. So that's using material that's not really frequent, frequent and used in the uh, for, for making art. The pipe cleaner artist, I mean, is an, an imaginary artist working in a kind of maybe somewhat derivative vein, but uh, making art out of uh, uh, the pipe cleaners, which are also like a children's craft material in a way, at least in, in Canada and America, I'm sure here too. And it was in fact in, inspired, one, one of the original inspirations was a photograph of a Man Ray photograph of, of um, Cocteau yeah. for, um, uh, making these rotating heads, uh -huh. the, the, these kind of figurative heads out of, uh, sometimes in, 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 the, in the literature they're referred to as wire sculptures, but I think in fact they are pipe yeah, cleaners, pipe it cleaner. looks like they are uh -huh. pipe cleaners. Uh -huh. So that kind of inspired me to, to kind of work with that material and, and I made the works for the photograph and then after that I kind of tried to develop the body of work further. Yeah. Becoming like a, a large body of works in your uh, work itself, yeah. like making a series of paintings, making a series of sculptures. So you're more and more involved in making art. I mean, yeah, let's say art yeah. by mm -hmm. hand, by, by your hand, own yeah. hand. Yeah. And this piece also, they may have their own career. You can yeah. exhibit them alone without the the, the live yeah, I, I imagine I, uh -huh. I, I did with with some of the pipe cleaner works. I showed them with a smaller version of that work, but I provided an image for context. But it, my, I, in a way, it is yeah. The, the photograph is a bit of a crutch, or, or not so much a crutch. Let's say as a um, kind of a protective device, which provides a context. Uh -huh. And I still like the idea of exhibiting them on their own. And I will eventually. I'm, 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 they're still in the back of my mind. The hope that they will lead to like a, a way of working that would become independent. Yeah. So they are maybe sometimes dead ends, sometimes possibilities. Uh -huh. but, but I, I was imagining some collector bringing to his uh, living room and showing a piece and said, this is a Rodney Graham piece and he show like a sort of post-cubist painting and so it doesn't yeah. match what the idea you have of yeah. your, your work. It's more related to these live boxes and so it's a bit weird. These uh, collectors are able to just buy a piece like this. They've uh, been all that successful, but uh -huh. people have, have and, and I, yeah, I realize that they are, they're always in a way representing a kind of, not exactly cutting edge yeah. idea of painting. Uh -huh. But for me, it's a way of coming to painting later in my career. I yeah. never really came out of painting. I kind of missed that phase because the point where I entered, where my education began was really the period of high minimalism and conceptual yeah, art yeah, yeah. and all of that. All my, my friends, like Ian Wallace and Jeff, Jeff Wall, who had careers as painters, had 
and having and, and rejected that, or at least uh -huh. felt they were moving moving on. I never really had that, and so this is a way later in life of kind of returning to that. It's a bit of a nostalgia for that studio yeah, practice, but, and also a way of engaging uh, uh, with the hands directly because the photographs I do are not are, are, are very much uh, stage directed by yeah, me, but you, technically exactly. not. Like yeah, I always yeah. work with with, with, with photographers photographer and with the crew, and, yeah, so like, I don't really like the, think yeah. of myself as a but photographer. You like, it seems to that you enjoy doing these these paintings. Yeah, or yeah, this, this I, yeah, I definitely. And it's kind yeah. of visible. In yeah. The, in the, because it's not, it's not, uh, it's not a mimicry. It's not mm -hmm. a, a cynical comment on yeah. something. It's it's pure uh, uh, doing, having fun by doing this. Yeah. Even if it's totally not related to what's going on in the painting today, in some yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting how you challenge times and temporalities mm -hmm. by in your in your work. And by, by uh, telling this is precise a uh, date in November 1962. Yeah. So it's, it's precise. And uh, so I, this nostalgia is kind of light. It's not uh, something melancholic or very nostalgic or. Yeah, yeah, I don't, f I don't feel that. Yeah, and the precision of the date for this one was, was to locate it right after this last exhibition of Morris uh -huh. Lewis. So, yeah, yeah. And the newspapers were, uh, they're all of that. I had to reproduce um, some newspapers of that, of that very week. So that was kind of part, part of it too. I was interested in Picasso's use, of, for yeah. example, in this of newspaper in his But work. it's precise enough to say, for instance, the, the newspaper is November 9th, yeah. and the, the, the piece has been shot November 10th. Right, right, right. So it's right. The, the, yeah. The, 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 yeah, the newspaper of the day before. And uh, in, the, in the future, you have already planned for making pieces similar like this, keep going I on know. this? I, I'm uh, going to do some more, I'm doing a small exhibition of pipe cleaner work, so I'll be creating more works in that. I don't really make, I, I tried to find a way of making new drip paintings where I could carry it further, but I haven't been able to do something that was interesting enough to continue that practice. So that led to, that was kind of a complete, in a way it's a complete, completed body of work. Uh -huh. um, the artist bar, when I still, I mean, the, again, that piece in the artist bar kind of comes out of my own experience of making work and trading work for food as a, uh, I'm but always open to doing that. Yeah, <laughs> it's no more the case because, you know, it's, uh, I don't know in, in, in Canada, but they, the artist trades works among among other with other artists, yeah. but for food or for fixing your car or fixing your bathroom or something. Yeah. I don't not think it's so worked yeah. not so much. Maybe because art is too expensive. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's like the you know the story of Picasso asking to sign the make a drawing in the tablecloth. Right, right. And the guy said, "Do you sign?" He said, "No, yeah. I don't want to buy your your place." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to make art that was maybe you might imagine somebody trading not just for Emil but for yeah, Emil yeah. for a period for, of time yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking I didn't want to make it a, a, a sad situation I wanted to make it like a you know an interesting evoking an interesting relationship between a, a kind of a, a, a an art a supporter of the arts or yeah, a, a kind of kind of yeah, a collector it was, it was just, really yeah. a, a real a fair trade uh, yeah, something yeah. yeah absolutely Thank you. 